Hey everyone, it's Andy again with the Tech Savvy Teacher course, and this is step two, titled Reach Out and Connect. The focus of this uh, step is to get you connected with other teachers and educators and admins through um, social media networks or social media platforms. The most common probably platform that I've come across that I think is the most value for educators, this is my opinion, is Twitter. So a lot of the resources that I'm sharing here are going to be revolving around Twitter, but there's other uh, social networks that you can uh, connect with and learn from. Pinterest is another big one uh, that is part of, that I know teachers are, are posting things on. Uh, LinkedIn is probably the most uh, professional and uh, least likely to cause uh, issues or problems as far as having uh, what are known as trolls and that sort of thing. Um, but there are some Office 365, there's some Instagram pieces, there's even a network called Gab AI uh, and some Pinterest links as well. And there's also a new social network that's getting some popularity uh, called Parler, which is very similar to Twitter. But um, I'd like to maybe frame how to use social networks if you're not already familiar with them. I know many of you probably are. To me, uh, especially something like Twitter, I like to liken it to kind of working with a garden. Uh, you have to kind of weed out uh, maybe posts or people that um, may be overly negative, too political, that sort of thing. Um, as well as, again, what are known as uh, internet trolls, people that just uh, are, will pounce on uh, any comment you say and start posting something negative and causing a thread. Uh, those are out there. They can be awful. Um, they, they can be, you know, detrimental to your health. So, you know, unfollowing and, uh, again, encouraging people that you like and connect with and maybe discouraging people that... Uh, that may be negative forces on your social media. But so for example, there's quite a few articles here about Twitter. Uh, one of my all time favorite people to follow and just be a part of is Kathy Schrock. Kathy Schrock has been part of the internet, um, I guess, generation from its, uh, its beginning. She's been a teacher, technology person. She's retired now, but she still keeps a meticulous track of things, so anything she posts is usually good. Uh, so this is a, a kind of, you know, updated information on Twitter and how to keep, um, you know, again, following people. It's really, you know, any social media is who you follow. If you're following positive, energetic people that provide great ideas uh, that are relevant, you really wanna try and follow them and keep track of them and, you know, again, people that may be negative. And there's, there's also things like bots you need to worry about, uh, people that just spam your inbox. Um, you can keep track again. But Kathy's website really is a one-stop shop for anything Twitter as well as all kinds of other educational technologies. So please check that out. And, uh, again, even if you already have a Twitter account, uh, check out what she has there. There's a great uh, inspiring examples of Twitter in the classroom. That's a good way to, again, connect with people that are positive and provide, that bring good ideas to the table. Uh, Cult of Pedagogy, which I'll we'll talk about later on. Cult of Pedagogy is a fantastic uh, website for teachers and administrators. And uh, this is dated as back to 2016. Um, but so you have a Twitter account. Now what? Uh, great advice from Jennifer Gonzalez, who is the editor of uh, Cult of Pedagogy. And again, uh, Taming Twitter for Time Strap te Teachers. And then, uh, then there's some other information about other social media networks. Parler, again, relatively new. Uh, LinkedIn, I think you may want to check out LinkedIn. LinkedIn really is not about sharing family pictures or uh, trips to the beach. It's really a professional network. It's especially great for maybe younger teachers who may be looking for new opportunities after they've been in the classroom or maybe looking to go into the admin uh, sphere. So LinkedIn is a great place, even if you wanna to talk to your high school students about creating a LinkedIn presence. It's uh, 
really good for just uh, putting your resume out there, start developing connections that are purely professional. And so I highly recommend if, if any of, if, if you're a little nervous about any social networks, uh, LinkedIn is a good one. Uh, there are some Google Plus communities, although these have kind of tailed off. Uh, Instagram is uh, a, a kind of picture heavy social media network, but there's some ideas here if you want to get into Instagram. And then this uh, teacher treasury is Pinterest boards, if you'd like to check out those. So those are um, Pinterest teacher users. So uh, that's become kind of a lot of do-it-yourselfers like Pinterest. So feel free to just kind of look at some of these boards and see what people uh, are posting here. So Pinterest is also, uh, I find it's a very busy social media network. But what I'd like you to do in this step is just look through some of the resources on Twitter. If you're interested in Twitter, uh, maybe think about exploring if you're already, say, a Twitter user and you want to use something else. Feel free to post something in here. I didn't put anything really on Facebook here, although there are getting to be some really great groups on Facebook. So if you're a Facebook user, you may want to look for things like NiceGate and ISTE have social media networks and just look in pretty much all of your kind of professional websites like the National Council for Social Studies, or Mathematics, Science. You can probably find a teacher group on Facebook that you might want to connect with. I tend to use Facebook more for personal rather than um, professional, but they're really starting, all the social media uh, networks are really starting to kind of blend into both. So uh, take a look at any and all of those and be ready to maybe share uh, what you think of social media networks. If you have a handle, be willing to share that if you want people to connect with you and uh, so on and so forth. So I hope you like this, these resources.